Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hoping God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mazar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness, by night I will sing to him. Praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. St Thomas says that the deer is a symbol of the catechumen, yearning for the waters of baptism. The gushing waters are not just a reference to baptism itself, but to what is received through baptism, that is, an entry into the body of Christ. The Son, in the Holy Trinity, springs up and proceeds from the Father like a river of life, as does the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from both. And through the sacraments, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in the human heart, where there he gushes up as a fountain of living water. The baptised Christian delights in this water, but it also puts into him a kind of thirst, a thirst to see God for himself, the spring, the river and the fountain, not under images, but face to face in the kingdom of heaven. The tears of longing for this day are a source of strength for the catechumen and the Christian alike, in adversity, by night, and in prosperity, by day, because they are a hope in a love that is eternal and is not lessened by the vicissitudes of this life. Yes, our hope can be jolted by the trials of this life and by the mockery of others. Yet our baptismal vocation to the font and through the font to heaven should never be questioned. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. Our soul is an abyss that can never be filled except with the water that pours from the abyss that is God in his infinity. We echo one another and our thirst can only be satisfied by him. The Holy Spirit inspires us to make the journey towards him and it may lead us to many places we would never have dreamed we should go. But the Lord of Calvary is waiting for us with arms outstretched if we have faith, we can also have hope that someday we will enter his house and praise him in eternal joy, as long as we trust him enough to leave our old fears aside. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Ransom, pray for us. St. Gregory, pray for us. St. Agnes, pray for us.